Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Well, in today's video, we are down here in the basement in the bar area and we are going to be accessorizing. And we are going to be making a fun area for the kids for the summertime. This bar area isn't necessarily like a bar bar where you'd have wine and beer and drinks. Now we could, we could of course, but this little bar area is primarily for the kids uh, to be used as a hangout spot. When they have their friends over, they can come in here, grab a quick snack, a drink, a popsicle, because as I stated, the pool house and the pool are just right out the French doors here. So it, it's, it's going to be accessible for them so they don't have to traipse all the way in and all the way out upstairs to get a snack. So. Yeah, let's get started. I got this really cute gothic wood rustic window at Home Goods. I've told you guys a gazillion times, I love to make things my own by adding, adding something to it. And I'm all about layering. So I got this cute little, you know, coat hook on Amazon. I got a big bag of them. And I thought well, I could hang a wreath, I could hang a lantern, I could hang a sign. This can be used through the seasons. So what I'm gonna do is hang a wreath on it, but it's not exactly the wreath I had in mind for this. I wanna get an oval wreath that's smaller in scale. This will work temporarily, so let's hang this. I just wanna pop up yellow and green for summer. I got this at Target, let's hang it. That looks pretty cute but again an oval wreath would be a much better fit all right so right here we've got our butcher block countertop we've got our black sink and um, remember I told you we were gonna put on those vinyl stick-on tiles a lot of you were unsure if you thought it would look good but I think it looks nice I think it filled in the space nicely What I plan to do is take this. Where did I get this, by the way? Oh, Home Goods, $9.99. I'm going to go into the vinyl tiles with a nail. It's going to make me happy, not hangry. And by the way, I know some of you are probably going to say, don't do that. You'll ruin the tiles. But I just, I look at it as if I want to change this out eventually, I'll just change it out with something similar in size where I can have the snail all the time. You know what I mean? It'll be stationary, I can switch it out. Okay, so over here, I wanna add some coffee mugs and a little Keurig machine. I got it for my husband, his office is down here, and I just wanted him to feel like he was at home, even though he's down here. I always like to call the basement the dungeon. It's not the dungeon, it's an extension of the house, obviously, but I just want him to feel like he's got a little bit of upstairs, downstairs. So what I'm gonna do is make it cute, farmhousey. I cannot remember where I got these cute cake pedestals. I'm thinking it's either Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, but I have two. So I'm going to set one in the corner and put this one on top. Cute, right? Look at the detail. I love these. Next, I have these cute coffee mugs. And what I'm gonna do is just set three of them up here. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is the cute little Keurig machine I got for my husband. 
It's not as big as our uh, Keurig upstairs, but it will do the job. So I'm gonna put this over here in the corner next to the pedestals. Now I'm gonna add another coffee mug right here. Now I have this cute little pedestal. I believe I got this at Michael's. I'm gonna set it right here. And next to it, I have an apothecary jar full of some Starbucks French roast coffee pods. So I'm gonna set this on top of that. Remember last week I hauled these? These are from Amazon. They're amber colored soap dispensers. They come with four labels. One says shampoo, one says conditioner, one says hand soap, hand wash, and dish soap. And I just thought these would add a cute little farmhouse look right there next to the faucet. So guys, that completes the look here on this little butcher block countertop. Now, what should we work on? Well, let me show you this. Okay, next, we've got this piece on the wall. I hauled this a while back. I bought this beautiful wood rustic metal piece from Home Goods. And as I've stated many times, I love to make pieces my own. So this is my attempt at doing that. And what I've decided to do, oh, by the way, uh, many of you said to turn it this way. It would fill in the space nicer. And I, I may do that, but I've got it nailed in there really good. And I don't know if I wanna pull it down just yet because I wasn't sure if I wanted to hang um, some really cool like floating shelves or huge, huge candle sconces that come down on either side for ambiance. And so right now I'm gonna just leave it and see if I like it. But anyway, this is my attempt at making it look a little farmhousey and summery. I have two cute wall baskets and this is galvanized steel it's a little rustic on each you know end and then you've got the plant and I thought and see right here it's got the cute little basket hanger so I thought why not hang one there and then one up higher to give it sort of a fun farmhouse summery look and feel here is a nail now right up there is another nail so I'll hang the second one up there. Okay, next we're moving across the bar area over here. And you can see we've got a butcher block up here and we also have it here. So we've got two different counter heights, also two different types of wood, but I think it makes for a super interesting look. And um, anyway, so, Home Goods sells just the best apothecary jars, kitchen canisters, glassware for your home. And what I'm gonna do, keeping in mind that this is sort of for the kids when they have their friends over, is I'm going to be adding some nutty bars. And I'm gonna be putting them in this jar. It's gonna make for a super cute display. If you haven't had these before, don't try them because they're, they're really good. Don't worry, I'm not tempted in the slightest, although they do smell good. We're gonna go in with a second box. So we have a bit of a decorating challenge right here. We've got a wire that has got light, it's running lighting up there and down here. Uh, so I've got to conceal that. So now that I have it sitting up there, 
I'm just going to go in with a little greenery on both sides so I can conceal that. Any ideas what else to put there to conceal that? Now coming back over here where I'm going to set these canisters. Now I found these at Home Goods. You can take these off and it's really cute. It's chicken wire and you can put them right over the glass container, which is gives it a really cool look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some pretzels and uh, my girls love these. These are non-GMO and uh, they're called pretzel crisps. And I just thought it would look kind of cute just to plop some in the canisters as a decorative display. And then if they want, you know, if they want to get some pretzels, they can, but they're really cute. Perfect for displays. Doesn't that look kind of cute? Gives it a little textural element. There you have it. I'm gonna put the lids on and I'm gonna stick them up there. Now I could have just sat them on the, you know, the countertop, but I, I've got such height in, uh, in this little area that I wanted to elevate them. So let's finish up these little open shelves. So I've already, I already have one up on the top shelf. On the next shelf, I've got this wood um, riser. Got this at uh, TJ Maxx. And all I'm gonna do, I'm keeping it real simple. I've got a cute little plant. I'm gonna put it in the center and then put a cloche top over it. And that's how I'm going to display it on the next shelf. I don't want nobody else in my life. So darling, please pull me closer. This is the last time it could count now, baby. Yeah, darling, please pull me closer. It's not over until it's over. I know we get Here, I've already taken the liberty of decorating the top of the cabinetry and I just added greenery. I've got a cute little shelf that I set my bar sign on to give it, to elevate it. And then I added some, you know, some cute greenery. I added this decorative bottle, a topiary, a basket, and another one. And I think it, it looks pretty cute. As you can see right here, we've got a freezer, a little refrigerator, and a, a wine refrigerator. I want to add some popsicles. It is, gonna, it is getting hot. Today it is hot. And I think we're going to be in the 90s or 80s later this week. So I picked, I know these aren't healthy. Hey, when you're a kid, you got to live a little. I got some popsicles. I'm going to stick them in the freezer.
next, this is where organizing comes into play. So when the kids have their friends over, they don't have to traipse all the way upstairs with wet feet and swimsuits. I can have some drinks in the fridge or even if they go, you know, run out of those, they can come over here and grab some. By the way, I got these baskets at Target. Next, I got these baskets from Target as well. And these are large baskets. They're gonna go on the bottom shelf and it's gonna be called the Popcorn Station. Now, when we have kids come over, they often eat us out of house and home. So I stocked up. I know this is gonna seem like a lot to some, but when you have four daughters and they all have their friends over and they wanna go swimming and they're out in the sun all day, they end up munching. So I, I always have fruit and healthy stuff as well, but you know, for a fun movie night, pool night, we, we're stocked up. So in this basket, goes two bags of pretzels. Two bags of popcorn. See, and if they wanna come in here, they can just grab and go. They can come in, get some popcorn, take it out to the pool. Um, and then I'm gonna get those little snack clip things so that when they're done, they can come back in here, put the clips on and done. In the next basket, I've got some Chex Mix. I'm gonna put that right back here. And I've got Skinny Popcorn, they love this stuff. And then I got this at Home Goods. When I saw it, I thought, aw, I've got to get this for the girls. It's called Princess Popcorn. And yeah, it's just, it's cute. I don't know if it's got Lucky Charms or Fruit Loops in it, but oh yeah, this one is Lucky, has Lucky Charms and this one has Fruit Loops. Again, I know it's not healthy. It's just a treat when they have a bunch of friends over. This next basket is for my husband. Now, because his office is down here, sometimes if he's got meeting after meeting after meeting, he doesn't have time to run upstairs and make lunch, or sometimes he'll call me and say, can you fix, fix something or He'll just come in here and grab a quick snack and to tide him over. So um, he loves, you know, nuts. So I got him some planters peanuts. See, he's already gotten into this. And then I got him some more. Got him some cashews and some mixed nuts. So this is, I always say, this is dad's basket. Everybody hands off. So FYI, I got six of these baskets. So the next basket is for him. I got the Starbucks French Rose coffee pods. So when he runs out, he can just come grab and then put more in that little glass canister. So that is, I'm gonna have three side by side. Now in this basket is just grab and go um, almonds. Now these don't have, these are raw almonds. So, you know, if he wants to just grab something real quick to tide him over, he can. Now in this one, I've got some salt and vinegar almonds and some lightly salted ones. I'm also going to throw in some trail mix. So I've got some fruit and nut trail mix, some salted caramel trail mix, and some Tex-Mex trail mix. So whoever's down here, 
they have options. Now on this one, I have Kind Thins. This is dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. And then I've got some dark chocolate chunk and some oats and honey. Granola, these are all like, uh, what are these? Well, they're gluten-free granola bars, so not bad. And then I've got some Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn. So we'll put that down below. The next thing I have is Caramel Popcorn, Savory Ranch Popcorn, and Caramel Popcorn. So I've got the little basket right here and I'm just gonna put all of these like that. Well guys, I feel like my video might be getting too long and I don't want it to be more than 20, 30 minutes. So I may stop it here. I have no idea where I'm at, but uh, it's getting late in the day. And so what I might do is come back here on Friday and do a full reveal of the bar. And then we'll start working on other areas here in the basement. So as you re recall, we repainted it all white and we have new carpet. We've got the new bar. So yeah, it's time to make it cozy. So if you guys have a small kitchenette in a basement, a little bar area, this is just, it's a great way if you're going to entertain or your kids entertain a lot, which ours do, um, they'll be able to have a place of their own to go without having to go up and down, up and down, which will drive me nuts. It really does, especially with wet suits, you know, swimsuits on. So this will just be a great way to grab and go. All right, guys, I hope I've given you some ideas, maybe some for even a kitchen. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, come back and see me Friday, and we'll be up to more decorating for sure. And also, too, I did a new video last night on Healthy Through the Seasons. I did a candid and honest update on the AIP diet as well as an AIP grocery haul. So if that's of interest to you, I will link my channel below. All right, guys. See you Friday. Mwah. Bye.